Hello, I'm Tom Garand, the Executive Director of the Kansas City Streetcar Authority. And on behalf of our Board of Directors and our Chairman, Tom Trabon, I want to welcome you to our first completed streetcar stop. Little applause, come on. Great. So, so why are we here? It's, it's obvious. We're building a streetcar in downtown Kansas City, and we couldn't be more excited. It's going to be a two-mile modern streetcar line. It's going to improve our local circulation in downtown. It's going to connect activity centers such as the Crossroads, Union Station, Power and Light District, the historic River Market, and it's going to serve as a catalyst for continued and sustained economic development for years to come. Let's not make a mistake, this is a hundred year investment in our downtown and today we reach a significant milestone on this journey. All told, we will be constructing 16 station stops along the alignment and 13 of those will have shelters just like this one behind me. The look and the feel and the design of this stop was no mistake. The goals are that this be timeless, sophisticated, progressive, confident, technologically advanced, and regionally coordinated through our Ride KC partnership with our friends at the KCATA. I want to give special thanks to the Downtown Council and our Aesthetics Committee. Lots of folks spent lots of time on the design of this station and platform to make sure that it fit within the downtown context and that it was an asset that we could all be proud of. And thank you to the KCATA for their support in this effort, for acknowledging this is a part of a regional system. Don't let the critics fool you. It's not either or, it's both. Streetcars and buses, uh, we're going to be successful together. I would be remiss also if I didn't provide a few brief acknowledgments uh, before passing the torch. Uh, Mayor James and the council, uh, we'll introduce them in just a moment. Uh, without their true leadership, without their involvement, we wouldn't be here today. This is not an easy feat. You've read in the newspapers. It's challenging. It's tough. It's the price you pay for progress. And so let's give an applause for Mayor James and council leadership for making this happen. Thank you very much. Um, just a few more um, often unrecognized. Uh, there's also a number of folks from the Kansas City Public Works Department. And you all should be very proud of the Public Works staff for how they've managed, how they've driven this project on time and on budget. It's been a pleasure from the authority's perspective to work closely with them and again, you should all be proud of the professionalism they bring to the job. So thank you to the Public Works Department of Kansas City, Missouri. Well, good evening and thank you for being here. I, uh, I want to th uh, start first by thanking my teammates on the council, uh, especially uh, Councilman Russ Johnson. Russ Johnson, yeah, deserving of more than one hand for sure. Russ uh, is... Uh, one of the smartest people I know when it comes to transit, and he has been uh, the spirit behind this entire endeavor. But I want to I want to take a moment and ask you, if you would, please, just look around and take it all in. All right. I mean, seriously, look at this. We got cranes and stuff in the air down here. Okay, uh, that's something special is happening in this city tonight. Uh, and I want to thank everybody for coming out and being a part of it. Uh, this is really more than a simple celebration of construction on the streetcar, although that is certainly in and of itself worthy of celebration. But this is the next phase of a bold vision for Kansas City. It's a vision about leading our city into the future. Everybody here has seen progress unfold right before our eyes. Uh, within blocks of this streetcar route, new investments since 2012 total $1 billion. That's billion with a B. In addition, when this route was laid out and when the construction was done, there's been a, an additional $22 million worth of water and sewer infrastructure placed in such a way that if something happens along the line, you don't have to tear up the line to replace the water lines. All of this, all of this is before the very first passenger has stepped foot on a single streetcar. We've got more than 45 new projects downtown. 23 of them have no incentives. That's pretty good. And all of that construction has been since August of 2013. It's more than just about the buildings, though. It's more than just about all of the economic activity. It's about people deciding that downtown is the place to build, the place to expand, 
and the place to live. That's because downtown, once a ghost town, is now the talk of the town. We are witnessing history, and it's right here in the very heart of our city. And I believe that one day we're going to see some of these same types of things that are happening downtown happen in other parts of this city when streetcar goes there as well. The streetcars brought a tremendous amount of economic activity, excitement, and interest to downtown. But I've always believed that what we have done together is more than about simply building something like a streetcar. At the end of the day, this streetcar is about who we are as Kansas Cityans. It's about the people who live here, the people who work here, the people who play here, and the people who come here to explore our city. Residents and visitors alike will be able to take in some of the best restaurants, performing arts venues, concerts, and attractions you can find anywhere in this entire country. And we've got them right here, right adjacent to the streetcar line. This is how you see a city being built for the next 50 years. That's what it looks like. And don't forget, too, that the streetcar is really more than just rides up and down Main Street. With Cisco, the Kansas City streetcar will be the backbone of our smart and connected city and will be the largest and best open tech platform in, the, in the North America for the Internet of Everything. I want to say that one more time because I don't think you got it, okay? We will be the only North American city to be a smart city. There we go. Now in Kansas City, we've given up this whole concept of trying to think outside the box because we realize there is no box. Most of all, it's about a bold vision and an image about what we're all about in this city and what it will be for the next 50 years. We should be proud of what we see around us. We should all be proud to be Kansas Cityans. Kansas City is on the move and very soon the streetcar is going to be on the move too. So thank you for being here tonight. Thank you for believing in our vision and thank you for being great Kansas Cityans.